Welcome back friends. Today I'm going to demonstrate calculations on the Planck's quantum theory. And as we discussed earlier about the facts of the Planck's quantum theory. Now, let me review first about the main ideas of the Planck's quantum theory. Then we can continue with calculations. Kwa hiyo, jambo la kwanza tuisema, kwenye postu to the Planck's quantum theory, tukasema, all radiation are associated with energy. Radiations, all radiations, radiations are associated with energy. Associated with energy. Energy, that is the first thing. Then posterior tapi to isema radiant energy is not emitted or absorbed continuously, but it is continuous in the form of small packets of energy called the quanta. So according to Planck's, he proposed that radiant energy, there are small packets called the quanta, and these quanta are the one which contain radiant energy inside. So this radiant energy can be emitted or can be absorbed by a quanta. So a quanta can absorb radiant energy or can emit radiant energy. This packet is what we call a quanta. Now a quantum 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 quanta ni wing. So in a singular we say quantum Quantum carry light energy is called photon. Kwa hiyo kama nivu kumbia kwa mba kuna walimu watakuliza utoe mana ya photon. Photon is partitioned. Photon ni quantum ambayo mekeli light energy. Lakini jambo la... Tatu, the same amount of energy associated with a quantum of radiation is proportional to the frequency of light. So according to Planck's, energy is directly proportional to frequency. Ambao hapa tunayendika kama V. Ni kumbia ku V, C of velocity. Velocity of light, we write as C. C uku ni velocity of light. Lakini V, how we can dikwa F in its also on a frequency. So, mtu naweza kandika energy is direct proportional to V. Removing the proportionate sign, energy will be equal to constant H times V. Now, H is called Planck's constant. Planck's constant. H is called Planck's constant. And for this case, if you take E is equal to H V, then you call it equation 1. Then say, from our concept of electromagnetic radiation, or from our concept of waves, we say, frequency F, which is equal to V, is equal to velocity, which is C divided by wavelength. Or in other words, velocity C is equal to wavelength frequency. Making the subject frequency, frequency will be equal to, frequency will be equal to C, by wavelength. Now let's call this equation 2. This frequency, remember here in your equation above, is that one. Now substitute, substitute, substitute equation 2 into equation 1, you get um, E is equal to C divided by wavelength times C H. So NH is equal to C H divided by wavelength. Now let's call this equation theory. So here from equation three from equation three energy is equal to CH divided by wavelength. Remember, C, which is velocity of light, 
lost of light. This is equal to constant, which is 3 times 10 power 8 meter per second. And H, which is Planck's constant, Planck's constant, this also is equal to constant. However, pa value yake si kumbuki kwa kichwa. Lakini kwa MTA ni wawo unapewa. Kwa hiyo, don't worry about that. Kwa hiyo, all ni wawo nacho kisama ni kwamba C na H ni constant. So, let's say, let C times H to be equal to constant K. Now, E will be equal to constant K divided by wavelength. If we remove K and you put proportionate sign, energy will be inversely proportional to wavelength. Let's call this as equation 4. Kwa hiyo, unawezo kwa kwamba NH is direct proportional to frequency or in other way, NH is direct proportional to frequency which is equation 1 and NH is inverse proportional to wavelength. Now, let's move to postulate number 4. The energy is emitted or absorbed only in whole number of quanta. Kwa energy na kwa emitted au absorbed kwenye kwenye whole number of quanta. Kwa hiyo natumia zile notes ambazo zimeandikwa general chemistry 2 na kwenye ile page ya kiangalia kwenye page ya 9 ya zile notes page ya page ya 21 sio ya 9 page ya 21 kuna calculation pale kuna mifano imeandikwa examples. Kwa hiyo nitaanza na hiyo Kwa hiyo mbaya huko grupu ya telegram, mweza tu link chini ya video hapo kwa description. Join telegram, then utazikuta hizi notes zimendi kwa general chemistry 2, ziko kwa document. Kwa hiyo, takutaya maswali. Mimi naanza moja tu, moja kwa moja kwa kusovu. Sabu na hapa kwenye soft copy kwa hiyo, shuwezi hata ni kakunyesha hapa kwenye video. Lakini kifupi, suwa la kwanza, ya sema vi. Electromagnetic radiation of wavelength. Now data given. Wavelength. Tumpea sa sawa na. Miambiri au benambiri. Nanometer. Is just C sufficient to ionize the sodium atom? Calculate ionization energy of sodium in kilojoule per mole. Now electromagnetic radiation of this wavelength is sufficient to ionize sodium atom. Given Planck's constant H is equal to 6.63 times 10 power negative 34 joule second. Now required required energy for ionization of sodium which we don't know. Kwa hiyo kama unakumbuka tu uko unazungumza concept za electron transition. Japo sikupata muda wa kudemonstrate lakini ngoja nielezee hapa hapa kabla sienda kwa kweli. Kwenye electron transition tulisema kuna two states, kuna ground then we have excited. So let's say this is the position of an electron before it is excited here. Let's say this is the position of an electron. And let's say this is the another position of an electron here. Now, when ele this electron absorb energy, this electron absorb energy, it irradiated na energy ah. plan. It has to jump to the top of 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 this is according to Bohr atomic model. Again, electron novel toka hapa. Kushuka. Ba kudu kwenye energy level ya kwanza. Yani ground state. Hapa lazima hii electron ndo ina emit energy. Kwa hape na kwenye absorb. Uku kushuka na kwenye emit. This is what we call excitation. Hapa, tunakuna ita electron is excited. So this is what we call ground state ground state and this is what we call excited state excited state this calculation pia tunaenda kuziona sana kwenye hydrogen spectrum kwa ground state ni pale ambapo electron ilikuwa mwanzo then excited state ni pale 
Sasa kama mnakumbuka ni kwamba kuna concept tulishaielezea kule nyuma kwenye video kama wewe unaangalia tulisema kuna kitu kinaitwa kinaitwa convergence limit yani electron navotoka kwenye energy level fulani let's say uko juu ziko energy level nyingi sasa we shall go to explain it well in hydrogen spectrum lakini swala ni kwamba electron ikitoka hapa ikipewa energy fulani inaweza kaishia kwenye energy level ya let's say this is n1 and two. let's say this is first energy level 1 then 2 3 4 5 6 7 etc now inategemea na energy ambayo electron ipewa inaweza ka jump kutoka hapa ikaishia energy level ya tatu pale ikaishia energy level ya 4 ikaishia energy level ya 5 lakini huku ikishafika ya saba huku hapa hapa hii saba ni mfano tu zinaweza kazi kwa nane tisa siku ngapi lakini huku juu kuna sehemu ambako kuna kitu nakiita convergence limit convergence limit electron yote ikiwa excited ikazidi hii limit huku inakoenda inakuwa haiwi attracted maana yake huku kama hii ndio shell ya kwanza nucleus iko huko nucleus of an atom kwa hiyo huku hii electron inakuwa out of the attraction by the nucleus of an atom kwa kuna kuwa no any attraction huku electron ikivuka hapa tunaita iko ionized yani it is away from the nuclear attraction now to calculate ionization energy it is very easy we say kwamba tunachosema kwa rahisi ni kwamba energy level ya kwanza energy level ya kwanza tunachukua ni kama ile energy level ambako electron ipo wakati huo lakini energy level ya pili maana yake kiufupi inakuwa ni sawa sawa na infinity kwa hiyo kuna formula ambayo tuna watu tunaitumia kwenye energy kama nikumbuka tusema energy ni sawa sawa negative 13.6 electronic charge divided by n square this is your form now change in energy change in energy hapo itakuwa sana maana yake itakuwa sana energy 2 minus energy 1 remember here energy 2 itakuwa sana negative 13.6 then e divided by n2 square and the energy 1 will be equal to negative 13.6 e divided by hapo maana yake itakuwa ni divided by infinity which is n2 square now probably the value of this number is zero kwa hiyo hata value h kitope itakuwa ni zero kwa sababu ni kama jibu ambalo hatuwezi tukalipata kwa hiyo ionization energy shortly will be is equal to this energy now ionization energy tukikakwete sa from the equation energy is equal to hf or which is is equal to is equal to hc divided by wavelength kwa sababu tumeshapewa wavelength ambayo inaweza ika ionize kwa hiyo there is no need ya kwenda kwenye ile equation hapa tumeshapewa wavelength kama tusingepewa wavelength tungeenda kwenye equation kwa hiyo kwa sababu tumeshapewa wavelength tunaenda to ionization energy will be equal to Planck's constant which is 6.63 times 10 power negative 34 times the speed of light 3 times 10 power 8 divided by to divide by wavelength of light which is 242 times 10 power negative 9 times 10 power negative 9 meter so energy will be equal to hapo kuingiza kuingiza hapo itakuwa ni 6.63 mara 
sita point sita tatu x point negative thirty nine mara tatu tatu x point eight mara tatu x point eight tuta pata jiwe up then taganya kwa Ganya kwa mia mbi au bina mbi exponent mitu mna kujibla mwisho tapata ni nane punti mbili nane nane tenipani kwa negative kumi na tisa kilo joule pa mo kwa yao in short hapa tumekadiria kwenda kwenye 3 decimal place hiyo ndo takuwa jibla ionization energy of sodium so in conclusion tuasema tu therefore ionization energy of sodium is 8.88 times 10 power negative 19 Jual pemula.